Yeah, give me the female fish. Let's go get that missing sphere before we finish the world. I can just try and rush it to that point. And I'm no speedrunner, but I'll know that there's a bunch I can skip. We will see about that. Oh my god. I can ignore that door that just has a life in it. But I meant to take the upper path. There's no reason for the lower path right now. Yes, there is still the boss, but this is the last sphere before the boss, I believe. I mean, I already know that left was the correct answer on this one. So yeah, it turns. Turns. Okay, the stars just happened to- Ah, I almost made it to the food items. Wait a minute. Ah. Okay, pausing here for a moment. Look at my bubbles. It looks just like I have the water ability. But right now I don't have any copy ability. I'm plain Kirby. So my thought was, is it because... It totally is. The masks alter gameplay. The fish have better water breath. Why do they alter gameplay? <laughs> I didn't notice that when I went through the first stage with the blue fish mask because I didn't have a point of reference. But then I went through the other stages without the fish mask. As like, you know, DDD or stuff. And I'm like, wait, I just died. How do I have rainbow bubbles? I didn't grab water. You give me leaf? Wait. I mean, it's tough to say. It doesn't make that much of a difference if it's just, like, the water breath. Then you wouldn't even notice that on some stages. But now I'm wondering if any of the other masks have effects that are more drastic. That yeah, even while I have the leaf ability, it's giving me the increased water breath. Doesn't seem to affect me on land, but this is a fish mask. Oh my god, Hunter, when you said finally, I thought you were referring to something to do with the mask. I'm like, wait, Mondu wanted the masks to alter the gameplay? <laughs> you know, some people are afraid to try and unclog the toilet because they're worried about how it will turn out. 
but there is that satisfaction, so more people should really just take the plunge. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Okay. Now that I know how this works, I want to be in the middle. So it's going to come from the right, which is going to come from there, which is going to come from there, which is going to come from there, which is going to come from there. Now I'm on the left side, and it's going to turn to the middle, and then the right, it's the right. I want the one on the right. Before I go down this passage on the right and possibly hit some enemies, I may as well show off a stupid feature. Would you like to use an amiibo? All they do is give you healing stuff. I'm cheating. It's pay to win. I never have to die if I keep scanning stuff. I'm pretty sure the Kirby series ones will give you better items. Not sure if there's a daily limit on it, but you could theoretically farm up to full health and lives that way. Zoom. There's the sphere. I do have to finish the stage. I tested this out much earlier in the stream series. If you exit the stage, you lose the sphere. Oh, I was reading the chat and that's why I hit the Gordo. It's all your fault. How dare you talk to me and be my friends. At a time like... That one was my own damn fault. Hey, tomato. Now, let me tell you, I am not looking forward to tomorrow at work. Tomorrow at work is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> the only reason I'm remembering this is because Mondu brought up his toilet nightmare. <laughs> but a bunch of stuff is going wrong all at once, and I'm the one who's got to deal with it. <laughs> that... Because like Mondu, I'm the one who cleans up the messes. I tell you, these messes may not come out with vinegar and hot water. I've been there. In my college days, I had roommates. I had roommates... Two of my college years, I had roommates. The first year was fine. I just had the one roommate, and the bathroom wasn't tied to our dorm room. It was shared in the hallway. So it was just our tiny little bedroom space, and we were fine, the two of us. He was a good guy. I had a solo room my sophomore year, but then my junior year, I had a suite. And so there were, there were two bathrooms in the suite. That were shared by six guys. And I didn't really know the five guys that I bumped with. It was more of a desperate play to get housing because I didn't have a good lottery number. But they agreed to let me be their sixth in the suite. And, uh... Yeah, they were not good at cleaning. I, I reported them to the RA. And that did not help anything. <laughs> If you're in that situation, you should still try reporting to whatever authority you have to see if it maybe it will work, but that it's not guaranteed to work. <laughs> I 
Now I can keep that energy sphere. That unlocks the high jump challenge. Alright, well, let's keep up the tradition. Let's fight the next boss with the current boss that we last fought. Time to go in as Mr. Duder! I didn't say anything about kicking anyone out. <laughs> Alright, for this fight, if you want one of their abilities, they will give you... That's the mech. That is the mech. We could use the mech on the boss fight. Or if you want a less cheap option, there's Spear, Parasol, and Ice. I'm trying to remember what this boss is. I used Fire on Wispy. And Ice would just play out very similarly to that. I think it's time I show off the Parasol. In like a full combat situation. Plus, when it rains. Okay, Mondo, if that's what you want to think. It's me, your fellow boss, Mr. Duder. I thought I already played Tropical Freeze. Starting. Grabbing the stars. Doing the down attack into that. Gliding away because I have finesse. Halfway there, but my health is not looking good either. Okay, hold on. Fatty should be allowed because there's, like, sushi. What if the chat was having a chat about sushi and they wanted to bring up Fatty Tuna? And that's actually a very realistic scenario in my streams because Sushi Striker. I could be playing Sushi Striker and I could mention that maybe you want to equip the Fatty Tuna. Oh, I just let go of my ability by accident. Okay, so Parasol may not have been the right choice. Yeah, I think this game is rated E10, and I'm pretty sure the entirety of Twitch is rated E10, at minimum, because of how, like, internet laws work with data. Probably, like, a whole thing about being 13. Yep. <laughs> So anything in an E10 game should be fair game. But well, you're not allowed to make an account otherwise. I'm not saying you should go make an account if you're younger because you don't need this. This is going much better with a spear. I was wondering if I could block the damage with that, but no. I can just break everything you throw at me with this spear. Yes, that is true. I was aware of that. That's if, if that's if I have any reason to believe that they are. Like, if they say it. Like you said.
But yeah, you're older than me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, the the ship is now bipartisan. Got the left and right wings this time. Yay! Or if this was Kirby Star Allies, I would say that it's Zan Partisan. That that's the name of the electric mage system. The wings are complete. Two parts to go. Alright, I've got tickets to redeem. And I bet Path I bet the puffer has come to visit. Hey, Zan Partisan, I was just talking about you. He is the fountain. They made him the fountain. Golden Dark Meta Knight. He's just here as a fountain. <laughs> Right, uh, yeah. Francisca, Lombard, Zan Partizan. You mean the Pepe emote? Isn't that just a universal thing? I feel like it's been around for a while. <laughs> you think another boss will become the other fountain? We'll have to see. I mean, I honestly don't know, because I haven't played the deluxe version before these streams. Taking a quick look for any more hidden sticker stuff. I found a couple of stickers last time, and I don't know if there's more. Or if maybe they swap out every so often. I don't see anymore, but maybe I'm just stupid. Oh, here's one. Now, maybe you got that. Was that a Jesse emote? Because I think she had a subathon. No, that's SFN. Hmm. Not say words, right? Eh. Who knows? Any other stickers? Sticker, sticker, sticker. Why does this have a notification? I can only play it once per day, right? Yeah, I, it will not be recorded. They're just trying to tell me I have a high score? Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm an over person. Anyone who does it the other way gets under my skin. I just can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, 
Why would you need that? You can already flip it either way. All you do is open the holder and then flip it around. That, that's how toilet paper works. Yeah, we got two new challenge stages, which are, I mean, they're not new new, because these were in the original game, but the, I've unlocked them in this version. Items get pulled towards you, use a ceiling strike, do a whip tornado. I'm a cowboy and partisan. I'm gonna retry because I didn't realize that I could just use a regular whip there. I thought I had to use a dash and then it wasn't reaching. Oh, I had to whip that coin. Oh, that's evil. Oh, jeez. What the heck was I supposed to do? I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, oh, the optional door was tight. Wow, evil. Oh my god, more evil. I didn't even know they had made four previously. I thought it was maybe a trilogy before. I definitely hadn't heard about the fourth one. Alright, we got one retry. <laughs> I missed. That's weird that the blue switch was on a timer. Usually they mark the timed ones in pink. side those coins were going to be on. Did I at least get silver? I at least got silver. <laughs> now the high jump challenge. Silver with left and right. Form a high jump in midair. 
A rocket dive is effective to move down quickly. Just get ready for lots of jumping. I missed my timing on the, uh... Oh, come on. Oh, you don't want to hit the switches? Is that what it is? Oh, I jumped too high. I'm gonna retry that. Okay, yeah, if you can avoid the switches, then you can very easily just grab these gold coins. Come on. There we go. Lots of coins in this room. These work as intended, Rocket Dive. I said down. Don't keep going, keep going. There's another door up here, but I don't have time to do whatever's inside it. Of course there's platinum. But you have to be on point to get those. I'm gonna give myself one more retry just to try and uh, get through it faster for that door at the end. So I can at least show what's in it. That I don't remember. It's not much for a perfect run, but fine. To see if I can do this room better. Oh my god. That was an unfortunate place for the jump to stop. Okay, let's see what's behind the bonus door. Just a one two combo jump through a bunch of Gordos. Probably worse than the previous run. Yeah, because I avoided a bunch of stuff trying to get to the end. Right, 
Next one that's going to open up is bombs. There, just say I opened this room. And I just don't understand why they put the same mini games in the ship. What is the point? <laughs> I mean, you can see new written uh, here. Or let's not forget this little circuit board pattern. We'll never see that again on those doors. <laughs> New and in color. Hey Kirby, how's it going? I've made quite a bit of progress repairing the interior. Don't think it's all fun and games back here. I'm working hard too. You found 45 spears. We're missing the emblem and the mask. As you're gathering the spheres, have you seen the Sphere Doomers? They're mysterious creatures that usually live in another dimension. Energy spheres are their favorite snack. I'm sure that's why they're here. But I need all my energy spheres back, even the ones they've run off with. And that's not true. You don't need to get the spheres to beat the game, but... <laughs> it's totally all fun and games. Let's be real. In fact, it's so all fun and games. We can go to his theme park. Which, I know this is non-canon, but, you know. <laughs> the fact that they put him in charge of a theme park suggests that he knows a little something about fun and games. <laughs> 